Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, we're continuing our paginated report series where we're gonna add a data visualization to our report. Stay tuned. Okay, so we started building our first paginated report in the first video where I talked about adding data sets data sources and parameters, which is great, right? So we kind of laid the foundation because what's a good report without data? But now we're gonna add some visualizations, a data visualization so you can actually see the report because just having the data and not showing the data is kind of pointless, right? Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a matrix and add some functionality to the matrix. Um, and then add, we'll talk about expressions and things like that. And then we'll continue in subsequent videos to kind of pretty it up. All right, so you guys know how I like to do instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is, you know, if you're following along, you can use a report from the last video. If not, you can download the starting point from the in the steps below and then um, click on open it and I'm using report builder remember in the first video I said you can use visual studio or report builder I'm going to continue using report builder click on insert in the ribbon and then you'll see the matrix element there's lots of different visuals here but I'm going to use this data region called the matrix so click matrix and you have a, a couple of choices you can just insert the matrix you can use a wizard typically I don't use wizards but I like the matrix wizard 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 because it gives me a good starting point so I'm going to go ahead and choose the matrix wizard here, choose my DS country sales. If it's if you didn't name them the same in the subsequent video, in the previous videos, right? Just remember, use the one that contains more columns than anything, right? So um, the store procedure that I created has, uh, you know, the month key and sales and quota and stuff like that. That's the data set you want to use. Click next, and then what you want to do is so in the row groups we're going to add the country and the salesperson, and then in the values, we're gonna add sales. We don't need any column groups right now, right? Click next, how do I want this to look? You have three three different options. I like the, the last option of them all. And if I wasn't doing a video, I would keep this checkbox labeled expand collapse groups check, but I wanna show you how to set this up manually, so I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck it, okay? So uncheck that, click next, it gives you a preview, and click finish, there we go, right? So I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit, um, so it's not all clumped up like that, right? So there's my matrix. And if I run this, you'll see the parameters. So I go ahead and choose 2012, choose all countries, click view. And there's my report. Not the prettiest thing, but it's absolutely there. So let's start to format this up, right? So go back into design view, right? We're going to give a little space over here to salesperson. Let's format this to the left, a little space. Let's drop the font of this down just a little bit. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is, I wanna underline this, give me a nice bold underline. So you see in the ribbon up here on the border, I'm gonna choose bottom. But then here, this is a great thing about paginated reports. I have full control over almost every element of this report. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come right here to the border width and change it to two. There we go. And I'm gonna repeat the steps down here for this one too. And so I'm gonna say, I want the top for this one. And then go back to that border width and change it to two. Oh boy, I'm getting excited, right? And then here, I don't want any borders on this, so none. And then for each one of my salespeople, right? I want the bottom. You can say, Patrick, y'all, you're doing so much work, I am. And what I want is the color right the border color i don't want it to be black i want it to be a very light gray there we go so now let's run this see how how, how our report looks so there's our report we'll choose 2012 all countries click view nice and pretty still you know the values here aren't that great um, but let's let's continue all right so now we have our matrix we kind of have it formatted the way we want if you scroll down, you can see there's page one, there's page two, right? Nice. But what I want to do is I don't want to show the salespeople when I initially render this report. I want to have them hidden. And to do that, right, down here in the row group section, right click on the one labeled salesperson, go to group properties, choose visibility, say hi, and there's a checkbox labeled display can be toggled by this report item. Check that box and choose sales country because I want to toggle based on sales country, expand and collapse, right? 
So I'm going to click OK. And before I move on, before I show you how this looks, what I'm going to do is click on the one at the top level for sales country, the sum sales. I'm going to click B because I want that bold and I want to format this. You can format these a lot of different ways. If you look up in the ribbon, there is a ways to format. But what I want to do is because I want to do multiple here. If you look over here, you'll see a section labeled number. So let's expand this out right here. And right there it says format. What I'm going to do is put currency zero because I want this to be a currency and I don't want any decimal places. All right. And I'm going to expand this one out just a little bit. There we go. And now let's run this report. Getting excited. Choose 2012 and all. Let's see what we're looking like. Now that's a nice looking report. I have to say so myself. If I expand the United States out, you can see there's the individuals in, in that particular one, right? I am excited. All right, the next thing you wanna do, let's add a few more columns here. So let's add four additional columns. So I'm gonna right click, insert to the right. So you just click in it, make sure the header, all the little border around the matrix appears, and then right click on the one and choose the right. I'm gonna add another one to the right. I'm gonna add four more here. And we'll talk about the expressions and things. So let's just, let's name them up. All right, so the first one we're going to call country percent, and I don't like how big these are, so let's do all four of these at the same time. Let's just drop this down to nine. One more, one more. There we go. So we're going to call country percent, overall percent, and then we're going to have one for quota, and then we're going to have one for variance. Got it? So these are my four columns, right? And now what I'm gonna do is in my country percent, we're gonna add an expression. So we're gonna right click here and go to expressions. And it's really nice. The first thing we wanna do is I'm gonna use a function. So reporting services has its own expression language. And this expression language, I wish I could tell you it was just a straightforward, but it's kind of like a combination between a couple of languages. It's not that difficult, you just need to get used to it, um, the different functions and things that's available. So we're gonna do some of the fields. So it exposes lots of things here. So I'm gonna say the sum of sales, right? It's like that. And what I wanna do is I wanna divide, <laughs> divide the sum of sales by the total for all the sales within a given country, right? The context. And so now what I'm gonna do is because sum in addition to just accepting the expression, also has another, it accepts another parameter for scope. And so I want this to be within the scope of the country that I'm toggling, okay? And so this would be sales yeah, territory country, just like that, right? You need to wrap that in double quotes. So we'll wrap that in double quotes. So basically I'm taking the sales for that, I'm taking the total sales for that salesperson and design, dividing it for the country from which that salesperson sells stuff, all right? The total of sales for that one, all right? And so you can see here's the sum of the, the sum of the sales divided by the sum of the sales for the entire country. Go ahead and click OK, all right? We'll test this out before we do too much. So we'll go here, run our report, 2013, all, and click View Report. It's okay, it's all one because I put it in the wrong cell. But I want you to see how this works, right? So I put in the same cell and it's just one because it's dividing the total by the total, the total for that country by the total for the entire country. What I'm gonna do is take this expression and move it to exactly where I want it, right? Which is for each salesperson. So I'm gonna delete it there and go to expression here and paste my expression there. Click OK, and remember, we definitely want to format this, so we find our number section, and this is a percentage, so we're going to say P2. So I want two places, right? And so now what I'm going to do is run this, and what you'll see is, I'm going to go ahead and choose 2013, choose all, click view, and now if I expand United States, right, you'll see what percentage each person has within the United States. So easy, just a piece of cake. So let's go ahead and add two more expressions and one more simple value. So like for quota, for example, we have a field in our uh, data set for quota. And if you wanted to add it to your matrix, all you need to do, you see this little icon that appears, the field icon. I choose quota, 
and I just click quota for each one and it will automatically add quota, multi-select, just by clicking on one cell, holding shift and pushing up, locate my format section. This is currency zero. And now if I run my report, you can see how my matrix is building out pretty nicely just by adding these different things to it. So I click all, click view, look at that, right? There's my quota. And if I expand this out, see 100% because that's only one person. But if I go to NA, you can see how it breaks it up into those three, which should add up to 100% and then United States, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add two more expressions to this report, just so you can see how to do it, just so you kind of get this repetitive nature going so you'll understand, right? So the next one I'm gonna add overall percent. It's a pretty easy one. I'm just gonna copy it up to the clipboard. I'll make sure a notepad's available in the, in the comments below, some kind of text file or something, not a notepad, but like a text file, so you can have access to all these expressions that I create. So I'm gonna go here. And this is my overall percent. And so I want this one in the first two. So I'm gonna go expression, right? Paste it in. You can see that I'm using a different, I'm using a different context because for the first one, I want the entire data set, right? I wanna see what they're, uh, for the overall, for every country, for all the to complete total across the entire data set, as opposed to just the um, data set in the, at the, the country level, I want this at the data set level, all right? So that's why I'm specifying the name of my, my data set. So you can see DS country sales. So I click OK, and that's bolded. Um, and then for overall percent, one more time, bear with me. Let me grab this on my clipboard. There we go. And then let me get this. And we'll paste that in there and click OK. And again, these are percentages. One thing, you gotta have your equal sign there. So when you paste these expressions in, make sure you have your equal sign. And the telltale was I saw sum instead of seeing expression there. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose expression. Click okay. And now if I run this, I should get some funky percentages and then if we just format them as P2, you'll see, see how it's all funky here. If I go back and choose both of these and then go to my format section, my number section for format and type in percent two, then rerun it. And now you can see my nice percentage. If I expand collapse, you can see what's going on right there, right? And I can continue this for the variance. I actually have a measure for you guys. Um, I'm sorry, an expression. So used to talking about Power BI, but I have an expression here for this also um, and so it's pretty straightforward you go here to expressions uh, make sure you have your equal sign in there see how i deleted it make sure you keep your equal sign and then all you do is repeat this for each one and then since these are percentages we'll call them p2 and now when we run this and bam there's our perfect report we can do some other things i'm going to show you how to pretty this up a lot more in the next video. I'm, I've already went way longer than I wanted to in this video, but you guys get it. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add some other things to it to make it a little more visual, all right? All right, so you guys, if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, whatever they are, post them in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting the channel, you know what to do, hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.